When I was poor, everywhere I went, flip the price tag on, what's it cost? What's it cost? What's it cost? What's it cost? I was constantly negotiating the price for everything in my life. You do that when you come from a place of scarcity, of being poor. And as Martin Luther King said, take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. You just gotta believe that you can learn. How many of us can possess the ego attitude? What makes an ego so magnificent? Is it the courage? Is it the demeanor? Is it the strength? Is it the willpower? He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Successful people and wealthy people have a subtle distinction. They don't look at price, they look at worth. Is this worth it? If you're constantly looking at the price tag, you'll eventually relent. You'll eventually give in. Stop negotiating the price. It's a freeing experience to totally commit. When you totally commit to a relationship, to a business, to your fitness, to your faith, it's a freeing, powerful, it's almost like removing kryptonite from your life when you totally commit. Can you do that? The people around you are saying, it's costing too much. It's costing too much. And you're going, hey, maybe it's costing too much. You gotta start going, no, it's worth it. It's not the price, it's the worth. It's a subtle distinction in your life. Are you with me on that? So identity is the governor on our lives. It's the invisible force that no one understands. And once they do understand and get a hold of it, their life can change. So not only if you don't get a hold of this, will these outward conditions of your life keep being exactly the same? But it's you could behave differently. You could do all the work out. You could be thinking great thoughts. But you are going to get out of your life. You don't have to believe that you're already capable of doing what you want. You don't have to believe that you can already build that thing that you dream. You don't have to believe that you already are extraordinary. You simply have to believe that if you take that first step, you put yourself on a journey not of execution. You put yourself on a journey of learning so that you can execute. And that, when you understand that difference, that's when you really will be on that path to greatness. And that is the thing that I want for everybody listening to this. Please understand the only thing you need to know is that you have to take the first step. Whatever the vision is that you have for your life, you absolutely can make it come true. And the process is very simple. The process is about learning. The process is about growing and getting better. It's about recognizing what you're not good at. It's about recognizing what you have to learn. It's about taking that first step on faith. You're gonna be the most powerful force in the world, I think, is to be consistent with the concepts, ideas, and worth that you hold for yourself. You will get that out of your life, what you will tolerate. Okay. The deeper part of that is identity. And so identity is very much like a thermostat sitting on a wall, right? This is important. Once that temperature is set at a certain degree, everything in the world externally can hit it and you will find a way to get that temperature. So even in this house, let's say it's set at 80 degrees. If we opened up all the doors in cold air, just the worst things in life, the blizzard of life came in, the thermostat will kick the heater on and it will regulate this room back to 80 degrees. The reverse is also true. It's a super hot day. Great things are happening in your life. It's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. If you're at 80 degrees, that internal thermostat will find a way over a window of time to cool your life right back down to 80 degrees again. So the key, the secret key, is to be able to shift that identity. 90, 100, 120. So some of the ways, strategies to do that are, are very simple. One is if I, let's just say financially, you're a 200 degreeer and I'm an 80 degreeer. If I'm in your proximity over and over and over and over again, you will keep my identity up somewhere in between mine and yours to 150 degrees. Same in fitness, same in everything. On faith that you can get better, not on faith that you're great, on faith that you can become the greatest of all time. And once you have that faith, once you know that simply being a human being puts you in this rare category of creature that can get better through pressure, through pain, through difficulty, through failure, those are the things that are gonna be the building blocks of your success. But in order to begin on that road, in order to have your first glorious failure, you must first take that first step. So please, don't waste your time being motivated or inspired. Spend every second of your time moving forward. That's how you're gonna get where you wanna go.
As Daniel Pink said, people fail to achieve mastery not because they aren't talented, but because they aren't disciplined. To be able to soar as high as we can, to be able to look down at all of the opportunities and being able to attack when they present themselves, to know that you can do the impossible not just surviving, but living, knowing how to hunt, to be brave. You're not depending on anybody, but you're being independent like the eagle. You got to get up. You got to fly. You got the soar. You got to be that eagle. There are some things in life that you'll never experience you'll never receive, that you will never obtain until you believe. Believe in you and believe in your dreams. So dream big and dream beyond your wildest imagination. Number one, I want to make sure you catch it. Number one. you have to believe that it can be you, right? And I'm not talking to everybody in the room. Some of y'all, you got enough confidence for me and you, you're good. But somebody in the room, you don't have that type of confidence. I need you to give me a quick favor. I need, for those of you who like, ET tonight is my night. When I walk out of here, I'm gonna be different. How many of you be honest in the room? Raise your hand. ET, I'm gonna be honest. When I hear no, sometimes it breaks my spirit. When my mom doesn't believe, when my dad doesn't believe, when my girlfriend doesn't believe, when my friends don't believe or when they shut the door, they slam the door in my face without even giving me an opportunity. I'll be honest, ET, sometimes when I walk away from that door, I get a little discouraged. Raise your hand for me, be honest. Raise your hand. Just look at that eagle. It's truly magnificent. You never see an eagle complaining. You never see an eagle whining and worrying about how it's going to get its meal. I mean, let's just think about it. An eagle is flying, but an eagle must eat. It has to eat to survive or live. Well, let's think about that for a moment. Do you think what the eagle is hunting is going to just sit there and wait to be eaten? Because the thing about success, you got to work for it. It's not supposed to be given. It's not going to just sit around. The eagle knows what it must do. Question is, do you know what you gotta do? What I do is, um, you know, unique in that I study people all the time because I know that I deal with salespeople or people who are in the sales industry. I'm constantly, you know, studying that genre.
know, I have a keen sense of awareness. And so I'm, I'm constantly asking myself questions in my mind. What would work? What would work? What's going on in the economy? You know, what, what, what's the climate? What's going on? What are people dealing with? You know, so it's asking myself a bunch of questions. My mother is there. What are mothers going to do with You know, what is a father, you know, who's trying to put in 60 hours a week, but at the same time, trying to have a healthy relationship, you know, with his children, his family. What is what does he need to hear? If you're gonna do, it's gonna take you to a whole level because this company has some great stuff in store for you, but you cannot get it if somebody says no and you take no the wrong way. Listen to me, every no you get, don't, don't, don't shun the no. Every no, you take the no, you take the no and you recycle it.